it's Kenna. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I'm getting ready to go out with my friends right now and I thought it would be so much fun to share with you my go-to glowy girl summer makeup routine. It looks like this. <laughs> I posted those selfies on my story and I got a lot of questions about how I did my makeup so I'm going to make a little tutorial for you guys. I really only do this much when I go out but this routine is still very very light so you could wear this every day. Okay, the first step in any makeup routine should be skincare. I found that the more moisturized my base is, the more glowy my makeup tends to look. So I'm going to go in with the GM Collin Hydra Mucin Spray. And then my favorite moisturizer, this is the Obagi Hydrate Facial Moisturizer. You guys, this is my fifth week of doing YouTube, like, consistently, and I've been loving it lately. I'm gonna be so honest, I tried to film this the other day and I just could not speak to the camera. I don't know what it was, but I was struggling. So I turned my film camera off and I started playing Michael Buble. <laughs> and then finally, I'm gonna put under my eyes some eye cream. This is the Obagi Daily Hydro Drops. I find that using an eye cream really just makes my concealer lay nicely. Okay, starting with my base. I use the IT CC Nude Glow. This is my favorite, favorite skin tint, kind of like CC cream. It gives medium coverage. I'm gonna mix in my Drunk Elephant Hydro Drops. I use this foundation brush by Hourglass to blend it out. Recently, within the last like year, I've been getting more into doing my makeup, doing more to my face. I grew up in Hawaii and I grew up playing sports, so wearing makeup wasn't really a normal occurrence for me. And then I blend down my neck just to kind of like make it seamless. This is my first ever like makeup video on here. I feel very full circle because when I was younger, I used to watch makeup videos on YouTube. Not often, but I did. Okay. Now that that's all blended out, I go in with contour. This is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Everyone knows about this. Mine exploded and there's so much in the cap, but I don't really know what to do about it. So I've just left it, but I put it in, what do you call it? The hollows of my cheeks, some up here, dotted around my nose. I do a little on my eyelids and three down here. And then I go in with this brush from Christian Louboutin. Also, don't come for me if I'm using the wrong brushes. I truly, genuinely use what works for me. I should be a bit more informed, but I'm not. And then I just push it in. I really do this mostly, just super messy. As you can tell, I am not at all very skilled. Okay, then I take this fluffy brush from Morphe and I blend this up, or, oh, it's the Morphe M443. <laughs> I blend it out like that, up into my brow area, very aggressive, like, no technique or skill whatsoever. Then for concealer, I use the NARS concealer. This is my favorite concealer ever. I should branch out, but I've been using this concealer ever since I was in high school, which was a while ago. I'm 24 years old, you can do the math. When I put them here, that cover up any pimples I have. And I blend it out with this $12 for a collection sponge. I was doing my makeup in front of my friends one time and they were questioning me because I like smack my face with this to blend it out. And they were like, girl, why are you so aggressive? <laughs> I was like, am I? If you can hear the TV in the back, it's the Queen's Gambit. I was watching it, but my dog is rather invested. So I left it on for him. Okay. That is all blended out. Then I go in with blush. This is the Say blush in Spicy. This is my absolute favorite blush ever. I'm not kidding. Best blush ever. It's so natural and it blends out so well. It's on my cheeks and then a bit on my nose. And 
been, ladies and gentlemen, a true travesty. I use the same brush that I use for contour for blush. No, I don't care. I probably won't change. But look how pretty... Wait, let me do this side. Look how pretty that blends out. It's just so natural. I love it. Sometimes I also use my finger to blend out my blush. Okay, after that is all blended out, I go in with the setting spray. This is the Surf Proof Setting Spray by Kali Ray. I give myself a few spritzes, and then I take my powder, and this powder brush by Tarte. I take the smaller end, and I just go over the places with the concealer. I don't know if I'm going too fast, but it really just takes me like 15 minutes to do my makeup. Okay, then I take my bronzer. This is the Hourglass Bronzer in Ambient. I use this Hourglass brush and I just bronze where I put the contour. I genuinely think that this bronzer is a little too light for me, but it gives a good glow, so it's alright. Then a little on my nose. looks like this now. The next step for me is mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash Waterproof Mascara. I can only use waterproof mascaras because these are the only ones that hold up my lashes since they're pretty straight. I go pretty light with the mascara. I go pretty light with the mascara and I do my bottom lashes as well. I know there's been a big trend of not doing the bottom lashes, but I think with my eye shape, it looks better. Mascara, done. After mascara, I do highlighter. I know, my steps are really, now that I'm thinking about it, my steps are a little bit out of the ordinary. And I put the highlighter on the tip of my nose and then this little bridge part in between my eyes. And I blend this out with my finger. This is the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow, and a little bit really does go a long way, especially when you're using it for highlighter. I know a lot of people use it for like a glowy under base or primer situation, but I love it as highlighter. And this mini has lasted me like a year. Next for me is brows. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil. The first thing I do is brush my brows up, and then I fill in any gaps. I tend to like my brows a bit bushier. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This is a non-negotiable for me. If I needed three things in my makeup bag, this would be one of them. And I use the Anastasia brow kind of tool and I brush them up. Typically I have a brow lamination on my eyebrows so I don't need brow gel, but I've kind of been giving myself a break from cosmetic stuff lately. And then I let these dry. While I do that, I do lips. Now, I've been obsessed with lips lately. My most recent obsession has been the 90s Brown Lip Duo by Huda Beauty. It comes with a liner and a lip gloss. I'm so obsessed with the liners that I got four, <laughs> all in these different colors. So this one is the Lip Contour Duo in Blushed Pinks. It comes with two. It comes with the Muted Pink and Pinky Brown. And then this one is the Yummy Browns Lip Duo. This comes in Warm Brown and Rich Brown. Warm Brown has been my obsession and I'll show you why. You'll like understand why. So we're gonna line our lips. Okay, this is what it looks like before the gloss. The gloss makes all the difference. This is one of my favorite glosses recently. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter. It feels like a lip oil, like it's not super sticky and it lasts a very long time. And that is the lip. Do you see why I'm obsessed with it? It's so good. I also think it's because this is like my lip color. So, okay, clips off. One last spritz with the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. My friend Maddie actually told me about this. It's so light, you like barely feel it going on. 
And this, you guys, is the look. This is my go-to glowy girl summer makeup look. Very dewy, very natural, very glowy. You guys, I'm honestly so obsessed with this. It's so light, it's so easy, and it's so natural. I can wear it out, I can wear it to the farmer's market, and I feel so comfortable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I am so happy here on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!